Okay, buddy, buddy. So, funny story. The end of the last episode, it was really depressing. It was a tragedy. It, it was bad. At the end of the last episode, we placed the dragon egg down, and then it went missing. It, it was crazy. Like, weird. Really, really weird. As soon as I ended the last episode, I, I was basically panicking, and, and I was looking around everywhere, like, on top of the clock tower, inside of the clock tower, like, on all of the random, like, ledges that are inside of the build and stuff. You know, like, literally everywhere. Then, I started looking around on the ground, because it wasn't in the clock tower. Eventually, after like 20 minutes, I, I decided it, it is what it is, and I, I gave up, right? I went back to the storage building to put everything away. Then, I reopened my inventory, and Elitsu, oh, Elitsu was the best moment ever. The inventory was messy. I almost missed it, but when I was cleaning it out, I found this sweet boy right there. Look at that. The dragon egg. Yeah, the dragon egg is back. We need to return the dragon egg to where it rightfully belongs. Take two. Dragon egg at the top of the clock tower for now until we have a better spot for it. I'm so happy. I am so, so happy. I can't believe it. I seriously, I can't believe it. But here we go. It's back. Oh, it's back. It looks wonderful. Absolutely perfect. Orange, 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 welcome back, welcome back to the storage room. Thank you for doing the recon work that I asked you to do on Burb. Thank you, I will collect the information very soon. For now, you wait. So today's episode is about a feature in Minecraft that is actually surprisingly, like, really, really complex. There's a lot to it. Today, we're going to talk about fireworks. We're going to set up a really, really cool redstone thing. So a firework launches every night time. Uh, but we'll talk about that in a little bit. Because first, I think we need to do a tiny bit of exploring. I'm looking for some dyes. But this exploring won't just be any exploring. No, no, no. So this whole map is filled in. I think what I'd like to do today is actually head off of the map that I'm holding in my hand onto an entirely new map that we'll make once we actually get onto the new map. And then hopefully, if we're lucky, find a sunflower plains biome, like quickly, and grab some sunflowers. Because sunflowers are exactly what I'd like to have today. If we get really unlucky for some reason, it's not the end of the world. There is another option, but hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can find some sunflowers. So rocket time. Oh, check it out. Look at that. The farm. It works. It works so much better than it was before. So much string though. Like seriously, it's kind of crazy. And I heard a creeper in it right now. Yeah, I'm like obsessed with this thing. <laughs> Look at that. Goodbye, boy. Goodbye. Yes, even though we have a creeper farm, I will still be making firework rockets flight duration one, okay? Flight duration, anything higher. It's so expensive. All right. So we're looking for a sunflower plains biome. What we're going to do is go this way. Once we're off of the map over here, we'll make a brand new map and we'll fly around and we'll look around and hopefully... Hopefully, we'll be able to find the Sunflower Plains. I don't think I've really been off of the map, like, at all this way yet in the series. So, hopefully, we can find at least something interesting. If we're, like, really lucky, the game will give us the Mesa Biome, which would be amazing. Now that what we need today, but a Mesa Biome. It would be sweet. All right. So, I think this spot right here should probably do. It's Cartography Table time. Cartography Table down. New map right here. Now, we need to expand the map. Oh, no. Oh, no. I used up all the paper. Okay, it's crafting table time. All right, let's expand this map. One, two, three, uh, four, and there we go. That's four, that's four, that's good, that's good. We're fine, it's cool, it's under control. There we go, brand new map. Is this the smallest island in the world? Um, probably, definitely. I mean, technically it couldn't be any smaller. Okay, right off the bat, promising, 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 a forest biome. Forest, it's not quite the sunflower plains biome. But it is promising. Maybe this will lead to like a plains and then even better, sunflower plains. All we need is one single sunflower because then we can take it back home, bone meal it for even more yellow dye. Oh, look at it, look at it, look at it, ruin portal. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take a, we'll, we'll stop here and check it out. Ow, ow, that's my bad. What do we, oh, no way. That's like the best thing that we could get from this loot chest. Oh, no way. A looting 312, that's kind of cool. Useless, but cool. Wow, a bell? No way. No, that's crazy. That's so cool. That's so cool. And, and this stuff, I'm going to take this too. And the gold block is mine. Oh, a plains biome. Yellow flowers, they tricked me. That's evil, that's evil. But a plains biome, maybe. Maybe we could get lucky. And I mean, at the least here, we could pick all of the yellow flowers. Okay, I like this. We're going to go slightly off of the map, but... It's no big deal. It doesn't matter. Elites, elites, welcome back. Today, I would like to present you with Game of the Year 2010. Right here, Game of the Year. Check it out. Game of the Year. The Immersion. It's, it's immersive. immersive. 
Please be sunflower plains over here. Please be sunflower plains. Please be sunflower plains. More jungle. Please be sunflower plains. Hey, another flower forest biome. That's pretty cool. But actually, did you know? The sunflower is not in the flower forest biome, but wow, look at this. There's another ruined portal over there. I completely missed all this. I passed it. Sunflower plains? Sunflower plains. Let's go. Second bell. Let's go. Second bell of the day. Second bell of the day. Second bell of the... No. Okay, some gold stuff. Okay, sweet. Look, it's not about the biomes that we didn't find. It's, it's about the biomes that we found along the way. Yes, that's right. Even the forest biome that I've found a million times. The extreme hills, the mountains. Yep, I have seen it. Okay, so I stopped in the river to get experience to mend the elytra up. So I'm just taking out squid and, and fish and stuff. I didn't find the sunflower plains, but I found over a stack of dandelions. So that should probably do, uh, hopefully. I'm going to go ahead and, and try and fix up the elytra and then fly my way back home. I'll meet you there. Oh, wait, what's that? A Minecraft village. Oh, hello, villagers. And it's right in another plains biome. Maybe this will turn into the sunflower plains. Probably not, but another Minecraft village. Hello, villagers. Cartographer. Librarian. Okay, so I said that I was going to meet back up with you at the base. But funny thing, so I went the exact wrong direction. I was flying west for the longest time. I need to go east to get back home. Big, big mistake on my part. But look at this, the bamboo jungle. This is where the pandas, where the pandas spawn, like a lot, which is really, really crazy. I don't think we're going to go into it today. I've already gotten sidetracked enough. But this is so cool. I, I've already written down the coordinates. It's actually relatively close to the base, I think. Maybe. This is awesome. Oh my gosh. There it is. We'll be back for you soon, boy. We'll be back soon. Fireworks. Did you know they're in Minecraft? Honestly, I wouldn't blame you if you didn't know. They're kind of hidden. There's a surprising amount of depth actually tied to fireworks too. They can get really, really expensive. Let's start with the basics. Maybe you're trying to craft a simple, plain yellow firework. Nothing fancy but cool. To do that, gunpowder and yellow dye in the crafting table. This will craft you a firework star. Now, you can actually use up to eight dye at a time in here. I could do like yellow and pink and purple and blue if I wanted to, but simple. So just yellow. Place them in the crafting table like this, you get one firework star. Now, on its own, the firework star is not very useful. It doesn't do anything. This is actually a crafting ingredient. Take the firework star, place it in the crafting table with the rocket recipe, and then you have a firework rocket. The flight duration changes how high the firework will go. I usually recommend just doing a flight duration one to keep things somewhat affordable. If you want to check this firework out, grab a dispenser, place it inside of the dispenser, press the button, and there you go. That's what we just crafted. Maybe that plain small ball though, it's just not really cutting it. I wouldn't blame you. Well, right off the bat, you have four different options, at least when it comes to changing the shape of your firework. So again, here's the plain one right here. It goes up, it explodes, small explosion. It's nice. Maybe we'll want things bigger. Well then fire charge is gonna be the way to go. Check that out. That's way bigger. Recreating that is pretty simple. A dye, gunpowder in the crafting table, and this time a fire charge as well. That's going to create a large yellow ball. Same thing is going to go for the next three. Add whichever item to the crafting table and you'll get the new shape. So next up, the gold nugget. Gold nuggets create my favorite shape, the star. Look at the star, it looks so cool. This is actually the shape that we're gonna recreate, but this shape. This one's pretty cool, but it's expensive. You'll need a mob head, any mob head, a creeper head, a, a skeleton head, yeah, it would work. It's cool, but very expensive. I don't know if you could tell what that is, but it's a creeper face. Yep, a creeper face. It's really, really cool, but very expensive. And then finally, this shape is known as the burst. To craft this one, a feather. That's very, very affordable. The burst is sort of uh, like a disorganized mess of explosions. It's pretty cool. Now let's move on to something a little bit more advanced. Maybe we want a firework that has two colors inside of it. Maybe let's say yellow and purple. We'll start just like this, but maybe we want that shape to be a little bit more cool too. We'll add a gold nugget right there, and now we have this firework star right here. We'll grab that and combine that with a rocket. Place the dispenser down, put the rocket inside of the dispenser, fire it, and this right here is what we get. A combination of yellow and purple in the star explosion shape. That is definitely really, really cool. But what if we wanted it to fade out to a different color? Well, that would actually be pretty simple. We start the same, yellow dye, purple dye, gunpowder, golden nugget, right there. Then we grab this, 
After grabbing that, we're going to go back into the crafting table with it and place another die. Maybe blue. We're going to have this explosion be yellow and purple, and then it's going to fade to blue. So now we need to combine this with gunpowder and paper to get rockets. All right, so one last time. This is the first one. Yellow and purple. Cool. Here is the new one that is much better. Check it out. Yellow and purple, and it fades to blue. Check that out. Mm -hmm. Yep, yep, yep. That's definitely what we're going for. So after you craft whatever fireworks star you're going for, maybe this one right here, if you want a fade out, add a die. But before you craft the fireworks star, do you want a twinkle? If you'd like a twinkle, glowstone dust is definitely the way to go. The twinkle is really nice. Or if you're big rich energy, check this one out. This might be the coolest one. It's expensive though. Right there, that trail, you see that? Look at how good that looks. That looks amazing, but expensive. An entire diamond for that. So real quick, if you're going for either of those ones, this is how you would do it. Gunpowder right there, dye right there, whatever other dyes you want, maybe that right there, and then add the other thing to it as well. If you wanted to, you could actually start to get really crazy with this thing and add a lot of things to it. A shape, a twinkle, a trail, a bunch of colors, and then maybe even after all of that, you could even add like a fade out too, if you wanted to. Yeah, they can get really expensive, depending on what you want to do. So that right there is how it's done. Now, what fireworks are we going to craft in this world? Well, I think we're going to go with basically a three-colored firework. So in the crafting table, let's go ahead and grab a bunch of gold nuggets. We need a stack of them. Okay, that's more than a stack. That'll do. So here's what I'm thinking right here. Uh, purple dye. That's the first big step. A stack of it. Now, let's go into the crafting table. Purple dye. Yellow. I like yellow and purple. That looks good. Gunpowder as well. That would be a little basic, though. Let's spice it up a little bit more with that star shape. I love the star shape. So here we go. A stack of firework stars. It will be yellow and purple and have a star shape. But that's not all. Let's actually add a fade out to these. I want the fade out. The fade out is so good. So let's have it actually fade out to blue. So it'll be yellow and purple. Then it'll turn blue. Then it'll go away. That'll be sweet. So, so far, so good. We're almost done. Now, all we need to do is turn these into rockets right there. That's a lot of rockets. Uh, that'll be perfect. That'll be a lot of night times. Now, we need to set up a build for this thing. Confession, boats. I don't really like them. The water smells terrible. Fish are basically the most disgusting creature on Earth. They taste terrible. They smell even worse. Yeah, boats, they're just not good. They do look cool, though. I was thinking, this area, it's insanely open. Wouldn't it be sweet if we had a boat, like, sitting in here, in the water, just chilling, and from the boat, the fireworks would get launched off into the sky if it got, like, pretty late in the night. We're not talking, like, as soon as we can sleep late, like, with the clock over there. Maybe a little bit later. Trick question. It's not even a question. The answer is yes. That would definitely be really cool, so I think that's what we're gonna do. All we need to do is try and successfully create a boat. If we can build a boat, then we could definitely fit the redstone contraption that we need inside of the boat and on the boat. To launch the fireworks into the sky, all we need is dispensers. It's actually really, really simple. To set it up on a timer, all we're gonna need is an added daylight sensor, daylight detector, with a, a little bit of redstone. So the thing that we actually end up building, it should be pretty compact. We'll be able to fit it even in pretty much the smallest boat. But the boat, so I think the positioning, I, I think it should probably be a little bit closer to the land, like like over here. That should maybe be fine. Maybe even we move it out just a little bit more. I think this is going to be the start to our boat. So let's actually go ahead and do that. Maybe we put the boat a little farther out, like like right here. That, that should be fine. We'll also go ahead and actually move the boat up one block. I think that'll probably be a little bit better. So if you're trying to build this boat, well, well, first, I recommend just waiting. Let's, let's see if the boat actually looks good first, but first shape right here. That's section of five. Five, three, then, then one, then out one, just like that. Now, next up, we're gonna go up one more layer, and then I think basically just lengthen this whole thing right there. Uh, that, that's gonna get lengthened too, a little bit longer, so I think like, uh, like that. And then on the tip of the boat, we want this to go a little bit farther forward, so I think like that. I think that's gonna be the shape. And then on the back, easy, easy. We just go diagonally off of the thing. I like that. I think that's going to help create the exact shape that we're looking for. Then on the next layer, we start popping things out a little bit more. So the next layer, the next layer definitely, absolutely needs a little bit of color. This is what I'm thinking. Crimson wood. That's why we built those big buildings in the last episode. They're over there. You can't see them. But yes, crimson wood for sure. Crimson wood was always the plan. So this is what I'm thinking this time. We go down. Then, and, and this time we're popping out, by the way. Uh, we go diagonal. Then this, I guess, is just going to be three still. We might have to figure out how to widen that eventually. Then then it's going to wrap all the way around here. Hopefully, I'm setting this at the right level, by the way. I hope this isn't going to be, like, too far 
too far up, if that makes sense. But anyways, we go to the front. Then right here, what do we do? This is a good question. I think, this might be weird, but I think we want to leave it like that, I, th I think. Um, <laughs> I have no clue. Honestly, I have no clue. I, I think we want to do that. We're going to go with that. And then maybe we go one here and then one there. Okay, which this means that actually stays and then maybe one more on the front I'm trying to create a stripe all the way around this boat by the way. That's what I'm doing with the crimson um, Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that. We'll, we'll just go for it I guess that's the only thing that we can do. We'll commit. We'll go like that But I do think we should come back in on the lower part of the boat and add a little bit of shape to it because I feel like it might end up looking a little bit weird so what if down here we were to go like block block slab slab right there to kind of like round that around a little bit and then remember this is just like a painted stripe so the weird wood connections uh, that could be fine it could be flat it doesn't really matter it's paint so there and there on the other side i feel like that helps the shape and then by the way on the bottom we'll come back in and i think just do slabs like entirely slabs on the whole bottom of this boat but i think here on the bottom to add a little bit more shape we'll go block there block there instead so then, I mean, I mean, it's the bottom of the boat. We're not going to see it very much, but there we go. That's the shape that we get on the bottom. I feel like that's pretty good looking. Okay, so next layer. I think we're going to do the same thing again this time, but we're going to switch back to the normal wood color, which is spruce. So we're going to go down like this. Then let's think about this. I want the back of the build to get a little bit bigger. So what if we go diagonal over here, and then we go like an L this time, like that. And then we, we keep going, like we connect it all, right? So then we have a section of five back here, and that gets the boat to be a little bit wider on the back. On the back of the boat, kind of like with like a pirate ship or something, we, we want to have like a big room. So yeah, we go back like that, fell off the boat, it's cool, it's good, we'll just keep going down like this, and then uh, the front. I the front. Okay, so I think we want to go one pass to start. Uh, then we want to go maybe in and then forward like two uh, Then do we just wrap it around like that and then on the front we go like maybe one like that because we're curving it up And then we'll have like a long piece on the front. I think that's it. Okay. Yeah, you know what? No, this is wrong This is definitely wrong What we need to do is maybe that comes off and then over here this comes off Then what we want to do is take this off and maybe this and this and and maybe that too I'm not too sure we'll do it on the other side where we can actually see it first Maybe so there 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 and then do we want to leave two back there? Or do we want to go one more? Maybe we'll go one more no, you know what? No, we'll leave two right there So we have room for a building then we'll go uh, down here and do a slab a slab a slab and then another slab right there then we'll do a staircase and a staircase and then slab slab right there so this is like the side of the boat where you would walk in if you were going to walk into the boat and then over here we're going to do the same exact thing so slab 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 and then staircase staircase slab slab hopefully that helps fix it a little bit then I don't have any more slabs, but we want to try and step things up on the front of the boat to get the shape a little bit better. Oh, for sure. For sure. That helps break out of that weirdness. That's definitely good. But I think what we should also do is maybe come back in here in a few spots, like that spot right there, and add like a staircase to help shape it maybe, and maybe some of these blocks should be staircases as well. All right, let's finish it up though. On the front of this boat, let's see. We want to step up, so maybe we go there, there, and then do we step up again, like right there? I think we do. Maybe we go off of this, and then probably like a staircase. We need more staircases in the build for sure. Uh, maybe we go like two there, there, and then this is where we get that cool front fancy thing that hangs off of the boat. Oh yes, oh yes, oh yes, the shape is coming to life, so check it out. I've made some changes, not very many, uh, but I'm basically trying to make it look a little bit bigger on the front, and I'm trying to like sort of curve things upwards a little bit more sharply on the front of the boat too. I feel like maybe that's the shape that we're going for on the front. Like maybe that's, that's like pretty good. I think that's good. So the front of the boat though, I, I want to have some kind of cool fancy thing on the front of the boat, but I do feel that the front thing should probably be like a different color, like, like an accent piece. So I think we're going to do a room on the back with dark oak, so we'll do this front fancy thing, whatever you want to call it, maybe with dark oak. I feel like dark oak will be the answer. Now I'm thinking that this thing shouldn't get too big, like maybe something like that. That's pretty cool. Um... Yeah, honestly, maybe something like that, and then maybe instead of that in there, we could do, like, a slab, maybe? Like, to have it kind of, like, be a separate piece, like, sitting on the front? I feel like that's good. We don't need too much on the front. 
that should probably be good. And then maybe we could even put like a bell on it or something. A bell could be cool. But to cap it all off on the inside, we'll do a staircase right there. So with all of that figured out, now I just need to get rid of the water. The boat needs to be drained. On the bottom of the boat, I think what I'm going to do is actually leave a secret way in. I don't know if I'm going to put like a way in on the side of the boat. So right there, we'll leave like a slab out in the center. Maybe I'll come back and put a little trap door. Maybe I won't. I don't know. Doesn't matter that much, but we'll have a secret hole on the bottom of the boat if we ever need to get inside of it. Now, because of how I set everything up, this is going to be the walking layer, which means I think what I want to do here, if possible, is take some of this out and turn it to staircases and place them facing inwards. If I do it like that, I should be able to put a deck in here a whole lot more easily. I'm thinking maybe for the deck, like Oakwood or something, that might look good. But let's talk about this building. Can I figure it out? So actually, what we're going to do is reverse what I did a little bit right there. One block forward, just like that. Then Dark Oak. I think Dark Oak should be even with this staircase right here. Then I think we want to go up maybe with like another staircase. We have to work smart here. The building, we don't have like a lot of room. It can't be too big looking. So maybe we go up with another staircase and we want to try and keep it thin. So I'm thinking like lots of staircases to like curve the building back. Then we would have like a window in here. So what if we put like a staircase there? Then we could have this maybe, and, and this might be a little weird, but we could have the building hang off the back of the boat, I was thinking. So that would be the shape right there. Like it goes up. And then we'll have a room in here. We'll have like a window. Um, we probably have to leave those side blocks. But yeah, it could wrap back to like the back of the boat. No, I don't know. Not 100% sure. But staircase maybe right there. And then another staircase right here. We'll hang the back of this building off of the boat too. Then we'll come in with some slabs. We need to finish this up before nighttime. So let's go one, two, three. A little bit taller on the back. Then a staircase right there. Then we go right across. And we'll have like a big back window on the boat, which will be pretty cool. Definitely all for looks, but cool. So there we go. We have something that looks like that. Then we can just fill in on the corners and raise it up somehow. I feel like that might work. <laughs> that, that might be good. Okay, yeah, yeah, no, that is good. But the back window is just too tall. So I liked the idea. It was a cool concept, but let's trim it down one, one block. Instead, here's what we could do. We could just do slabs on the top half to keep it pretty low still, trim it down one block, and then boom, there we go. So that's the top area. Not sure exactly how I'm going to do it, but we could come in here with some accent logs. That could be cool. And then the front mast. I would like to have a mast on the boat. So maybe like sitting right here, we'll go up with like dark oak and then we'll have like a cross section down low and then another cross section up high and then maybe the fireworks will come out of the front of the boat so we'll put like the dispenser up there run the wiring underneath the deck back to wherever we put the daylight sensor it'll have to be out in the open we can just put it on the deck though pretty easy and then boom at nighttime firework right out in the middle of this lake we should be able to see it from almost anywhere that should be good all right, so now I think it's buildy buildy time. Fill in all of the details, you know, that type of thing. You know how it goes. I'm really, really excited about this. We'll do staircases right there. And then to make it even cooler, check this. We're going to like round it around the front. I'm going to add some details to it. Get other wood stuff going on in here too. Maybe you come back, swap some of these blocks for like dark oak logs. That could be cool. Oh, yes, it is all coming together. The ship has made good progress. I am just about done with it. It's almost time for a ship tour, but check it out. This is what we see from over here. We have the sail in. It's a small boat, but I think that definitely adds to the area. And the big thing, the fireworks, they're going to be really, really cool. I decided to jump back in right now before I finish the boat so we could actually finish the firework build before nighttime again. I mean, we're midday right now. I have a lot of time left, but I figured we might as well do it right now. But first things first, up on top, right here item frame then cobweb inside of the item frame turn it a little bit and then boom there we go that's the steering wheel for the ship if we could steer it of course now the top area it's pretty plain because i built it out of slabs i will come back in here right now and add this that's where you would stand to steer it mm -hmm, okay yeah but then other than that and we'll block spawns on it like that and it's gonna be left pretty plain up there moving down into the ship cabin inside of this room we have a very very cramped space this is what we're looking at we have a smithing table over here a bed for sleeping crafting table barrel for storage or something like that and that's just about it one more thing gets added to this room though item frame right there and then a compass for direction of course now moving out onto the ship we have this thing this is what the build looks like right there i think that's pretty cool i might swap this out for a gold block that could be cool but for now i kind of like it like that then uh yeah the deck i put the cartography table over here thought that was cool smithing table right there and then the dispenser that will shoot the fireworks into the sky 
guy right up front. So we'll go ahead and load that thing up right now. On the front of the ship, a bell for sure, but I think we're gonna have to jump off of the ship to get that in. Now let's talk about the redstone. So daylight detector right there. We'll swap it over to night mode just like that. That should be night mode. Now all we have to do is go down below the deck and run a redstone line from the block below the dispenser over to right, uh, right here. I think it is that block. So can we read? Oh, we can crouch in here. Okay, perfect. So redstone, redstone, one, two, three, four, five. And then what we want to do, I think, is six, seven. Seven should be fine. Um, that's longer than what we did on the clock tower, so that's good because I don't want it to go off as soon as it's nighttime. Uh, yeah, seven. I think seven should be fine. But you know what I'm just realizing? I'm pretty sure this isn't going to work, actually. The signal won't be carried down. So what I think we want to do instead, no big deal here, is pull this down into the ship uh, by one. But let's remove that so we don't lose the firework. Uh, we place that down. Okay, then we flip that over to the nighttime. Okay, okay. We put that right there, right back. And then there. And now we should be good. That should be golden. That should work perfectly. Now, there's going to be a little bit of a weird thing here. We have that weird gap, but honestly, I think it's fine. Remember, we won't actually really be over at the boat. The boat is really just sitting in the water, shooting fireworks into the sky for us. By the way, this is how we get in that spot right there. You swim up. Then there's a staircase back here. I'm actually uh, kind of surprised that I was able to fit it in. But yeah, staircase right there. Then you can access the rest of the boat. We'll just have to be careful right here. We don't want to fall down into there because then we'd be stuck. All right, so all we need to do is remember to pay attention to the boat at nighttime. Let's put the bell right there. That's perfect. That looks really cool for sure. I think we do need a gold accent in the boat somewhere though. But the anchor, the anchor, the anchor. So I decided to add an anchor. I figured we'd put it over here. We could have chains going down under the water to the floor. And then we'd put a cauldron, I figured, on the floor because a cauldron definitely looks like an anchor. So there we go. A cauldron. Can we waterlog the cauldron? Okay, no, we can't. Okay, maybe not a cauldron. We'll, we'll find something else. But we'll have an anchor sitting down there under the water. But, elites, it is becoming evening right now, which is perfect. So now we get to see if the timing is good, which I'm pretty sure it is, and how far up the fireworks go. Oh, all right, so let's check this timing right here. It should happen after the clock tower. So the clock tower is going to turn on any second now. Then, a little bit after, the rocket should be shot into the sky. With a timing of 7, I think that's going to be almost when the sun is at the horizon line. I mean, we can't see the horizon here in this world. It's not a super flat, but I think that's what the timing would be. Pretend, by the way, that the sail is finished, okay? Okay, got you. All right, there it is. Check that out with the star with the blue. We might want to make them go higher, but there we go. It works. It works. That's awesome. Perfect. I don't know. Of course I knew it was going to work, but it's always so exciting. Like after you build something and then you see it work for the first time and it actually does indeed definitely work. That's so cool. That's awesome. That's literally perfect. All right, but let's actually go ahead and climb up the mast here and finish off the sail, and then we will actually be set for today. I think what I'm going to have to do, though, actually, because of the, the shape of this thing, is move everything back a little bit. Like this, well, well, actually, yeah, yeah, I think I need to move it forward one and down one. Okay. That's not a big deal. That's that's actually nice. See, I had it set up weird because I was thinking that I wasn't actually going to have room for this with the whole dispenser thing. I mean, it's one block in front of the sail right there, but no, wow, okay, sweet, that worked out. Now, uh, let's move this down one block and then we're good. All right, time for the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day is a, a really good question. When are you going to have a horse? So I would love to get a horse soon. It would be really cool. Like, we could set up a sweet stable. Let's talk about horse breeding. That's something that actually we've never really talked about before. It's very, very complex, kind of like fireworks. But honestly, in the jungle, and if you want to expand that, honestly, with the elytra, the horses, I mean, I like horses. Don't get me wrong. But... But I, I don't know. Maybe we should get like a skeleton horse or something. That would be really, really cool. Either way, though, eventually I hope to get horses, but probably not really soon. That's going to do it for today's video, though. Leave a like, subscribe. Fireworks, they're a really cool Minecraft feature that is actually surprisingly complex. You could use them to celebrate something or maybe mark the time of the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. Hope the boat turned out well. It's been me, your boy, Captain Waddles.